Everyone knows there is an enormous amount of data generated every second. It has become crucial to analyze those data as they can be very useful. Everyone is aware of the importance of big data analytics from big retail markets to education, from the banking sector to clothing brands. It is everywhere. How do you handle them? How do you process them at all? The answer to all these questions is big data analytics. Hi, this is Sahana from Simply Learn. Today we will learn interesting terms about big data analytics which has become a buzzword everywhere around. Before we start, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's go through the topics to be covered in today's video. Let's start by getting introduced to what is big data analytics. Next. We will learn about importance of big data analytics. Next, types of big data analytics, followed by life cycle of big data analytics, tools and advantages of big data analytics, and finally, we'll go through use cases of big data analytics. First, we must understand what do you mean by big data analytics? Big Data Analytics is the technique to analyze valuable data sets having any format like structured, unstructured or semi-structured. For example, music industries like Spotify. The company has nearly 96 million users that generate tremendous amount of data every day. Using this information, the application generates suggested songs through smart recommendation techniques based on likes, shares, search history and many more. Playlists are created automatically and many more automated processes can happen. What enables this is the techniques, tools and frameworks that are a result of big data analytics. If you are a Spotify user, then you must have come across the top recommendation sections, which is based on your like, past history and other things. Utilizing a recommendation engine that leverages data filtering tools that collect data and then filter it using algorithm this is how Spotify works. By collecting and analyzing proper data and incorporating it into business plans which will further help them in decision making. This is how big data analytics helps big business organizations. 72% of e-commerce companies rely on data produced from big data analytics and this data is increasing day by day. Any YouTube channel can use data analytics to analyze user interest and develop his next project based on that. What is the importance of the topic? Why do we need to study big data analytics is the biggest question. It is observed that every organization adopts this technique for a better understanding of data and its use. Cloud-based analytics can store a large amount of data with minimal cost. For example, tools like Zoho Analytics, Microsoft Power BI and many more. Thus, big data analytics can result as cost efficient. The way of analyzing it is very swift, which will help to analyze all the sources. This will contribute to quick decision making in any organization. The result of such analysis will help to develop new products. As due to these products, analysis of the companies will know about their customer likings and behavior. Due to all these efficient strategies, big data analytics is very crucial. Let's move forward and understand what are the types in big data analytics. Types of big data analytics. First, let's try and understand descriptive analysis. It includes processing past and present data set, which will lead to help in trend analysis. In predictive analysis, it makes future predictions based on past or historical data sets, which will help in decision making. The diagnostic analysis is an advanced analysis system in which Introspections are made based on why that has happened. 
and further decisions are taken based on the available data sets. Prescriptive analytics is the process of using data to determine an optimal course of action. The next topic we are covering is the life cycle of data analytics. First is business case evaluation will help decision makers to understand the source of business. In this case, the learner or the team will learn about the business domain which presents the motivation and goals for carrying out the analysis. In this point, the problems get identified and assumptions are made based on the available data sets. In the identification of data, once the business case is identified, now it's time to find the appropriate data sets to work with. In this stage, analysis is done to see what other companies have done for a similar data sets. In data filtration, once the source of data is identified, now it's time to gather data from such resources. This kind of data is mostly unstructured. Then it is subjected to filtration, such as removal of corrupt data or irrelevant data, which is of no scope further. Now the data is filtered, but there might be a possibility that some of the entries of such data is incompatible. To rectify this issue, a separate phase is created called as extraction phase. In this phase, the data which don't match the underlying scope of the analysis are extracted and transformed. In data aggregations, data sets are validated and combined with common field. For instance, we can take data set of a student. One data set can be named as student academic section and the other can be named as student personal details. Then both can be joined together via common field. We can take it as row number. Depending on the nature of big data problem, analysis is carried out. Data analysis can be classified as confirmatory analysis and exploratory analysis. In confirmatory analysis, the cause of the phenomenon is analyzed before. The assumption is called hypothesis. The data is analyzed to approve or disapprove the hypothesis. Such kind of analysis will provide definitive answer to some specific questions and confirms whether an assumption was true or not. In exploratory analysis, the data is explored to obtain information that why a phenomenon has occurred. This type of analysis answer why a phenomenon occurred. This kind of analysis doesn't provide definitive information. Meanwhile, it can provide discovery of certain patterns. Visualization or data visualization is said to influence the interpretation of the results. Moreover, it will allow the user to discover answer to certain questions that are yet to be formulated. The analysis is done. The results are visualized. Now it's time for the business user to make decisions using the result. The result can be used for optimization to define business processes, it can be used as an input for the system to enhance performance. This is all about life cycle of data analytics. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. There are multiple tools available on the market which can help companies in big data analytics. Let us go through some of these tools. MongoDB, Hadoop, Tableau, Cassandra. These are the main tools which are used in big data analytics. Let's go for MongoDB. MongoDB is an open source tool that support data storage. It is a NoSQL document oriented database. MongoDB is used by Facebook and Google for data storage. MongoDB is best suited for big data where resulting data and further manipulation for the desired output. Some of the powerful resources are CRUD operations, aggregation framework, text research and the map reduce features.
Apache Hadoop is the most famous tool. It is an open source software utility to store and process gigabytes and terabytes of data set. It uses the MapReduce programming module to solve problems of analyzing massive data. MapReduce is a framework that helps programs do the parallel computation on data. The map task takes input data and converts it into a data set that can be computed in key value pairs. The output of the map task is consumed by reducing task to aggregate output and provide the desired result. Tableau is a software company that offers collaborative data visualization software for organizing working with business information analytics. Organizations use Tableau to visualize data and reveal pattern for analysis in business intelligence. Apache Cassandra is highly scalable, high-performed distributed database designed to handle large amount of data across many commodities like servers providing high availability with no single point of failure. It is a type of no SQL database. Now we have covered the important tools used by big data analytics. Let us go and cover distinct advantage of big data technology. Advantages of big data analytics. Innovation of new ideas leading to product development, which means developing new products provides a means to target new markets, increase market share, sell more and increase revenue streams. Meanwhile, redesigning existing products enables costs to be cut, margins to be decreased and ultimately more profits to be made. Risk management insights about customers likings and behavior and market trends will help decision maker to take their position. On top of that, it will help to get rid of financial risk. It will also assist to detect potential cyber risk. One benefit from big data and business analytics can help improve decision making by identifying patterns, identifying problems and providing data to back up the solution is beneficial whether the solution is solving the problem improving the situation or it has an insignificant effect here customer engagement specifically how your customers view and interact with your brand is a key factor big data analytics provides the business intelligence you need to bring about positive changes like improving existing products or increasing revenue per customer Next, improving data quality will improve operational efficiency and value feedback from customer which will help businesses to handle vast amounts of data. It will also help in enabling data driven decisions. But how do these advantages related to the real world? Let us cover some real life use cases empowered by big data analytics. Use Cases of Big Data Analytics Amazon is a well-known name to all of us. It is among the leading e-commerce platforms. Apart from offering online shopping, Amazon serves us with different services like Amazon Pay, Amazon Web Services and many more. For a company like Amazon, the amount of data collected on a regular basis is very big. To manage such vast amount of data, companies leverage big data technology. For any company like Netflix, one of the most valuable asset is the customer base because it is the customer who turns the company into a brand. And if a company fails to meet the expectations of the customer, that probably leads to its decline. Big data is a technology that helps in the management of large amount of data. Big data is like a heart for American Express decision making. Their main goal is to detect fraudulent transaction as soon as possible for reducing loss 
and in this big data plays a very important role they use big data for anticipating and analyzing customers behavior by looking at recorded transactions and incorporating more than 100 variables the company assigns modern predictive models instead of customary businesses next is very important that is google google uses big data to understand what we want from it based on several parameters such as search history locations trends and many more after that it goes through an algorithm where complex estimations are done and afterwards google easily shows the arranged or position index list as far as significance and authority intended to coordinate the users this is all about use cases of big data analytics thank you for watching the video please leave your comments below in the comment section in case of any doubts and clarifications Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.